when it was getting towards the end of the financial year and there was mention of sums and things like that to be done, there were thoughts of high finance at the Skylark. It's no use worrying about it, said Nutty Noah. I'm inclined to agree with you, nodded Nelly, knitting. The best thing to do when you haven't got any is to forget all about it. What's not theirs, not minded. Ah, I agree with that. Best thing to do when you ain't got any is to forget all about it. Oh, Nutty Noah. <laughs> you know I do agree entirely. That's the best thing when you haven't got any. What's not theirs, not missed. Nope. Poor but happy. You're right. Up to the map room. Belay them sums. All aboard the Skylark. All aboard the Skylark. <laughs> Gracious me! I think we've hit the jackpot! Belay that knitting woman! Look at this! The place is rolling in money! Steamed Nutty Noah. That may well be Nutty Noah, me dearest, but ask yourself, are they happy? Said Nelly. Bound to be! Said Nutty. Ahoy there, money! Nelly here wants to know if you're happy! I'm surprised she even asked, moaned old Bob who just rolled up and hadn't rubbed shoulders with a thrippany bit since decimal day. No, we're not happy. Oh! You see, my dear? <laughs> Noted Nelly knowingly. What's up, then? Demanded Nutty Noah. It's that pack of gamblers! Moaned old Bob. They come every night and they gamble us away. Save us! Save us! Oh, you poor things! Cried Nelly. Oh, nutty, my dear. I've an idea. Humphrey, stand there and model. Me? A model? Humph! Humphed, Humphrey. Humph! Nutty Noah and the animals wandered about, wondering what. And Humphrey stood still, wondering what. When Nelly had finished, she was proud of her work. If that's a jersey for Humphrey, I'm afraid it's a bit too big, Nelly, me old love, said Noah. This thing is bigger than both of us, grunted Humphrey. Sillies! Nattered Nilly. It's a new home for the money. A piggy bank. Well, I never, sighed Nutty Noah. A piggy bank. Roll up, roll up, shouted the animal, and the money rolled in. Oh, we're safe, we're safe. When a pack of wild playing cards appeared on the horizon and the savings went into a spin. What's up now? Asked Nutty Noah. The gamblers are back! Oh, 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 what, what shall we, we do? do? The bank is closed, said Nelly firmly. You'll get no change here, so why don't you playing cards do something more constructive with yourselves? Well, ain't that something? And Nelly had to agree. Oh, I agree. There weren't many days went by without someone saying something about something to do or somewhere to go. Wednesday was no different. Or was it Tuesday? That was the problem. The clock had stopped. Trying to keep track of time, Cedric was counting up to 60 time and time again. And Ahmed was counting the times Cedric counted up to 60. With all that counting going on, Nelly lost count of her stitches time and time again. Oh! Maureen suggested a sports day, but nobody knew what time the race should start because the clock had stopped. I know where we can get the time, said Nutty. We'd better be off then, nattered Nelly. It's later than you think. Oh, ah, you're right, my dear, nodded Nutty. All aboard the Skylark! All aboard the Skylark! It's very quiet, 
said Nellie. You're right, my dear, agreed Nutty, as they looked over the side of the Skylark and peered down the high street. Oh, what a funny high street, said Rose. I don't see anything funny about it, she added. What you mean is, it's funny, it's so quiet, nattered Nellie wearily. Oh, said Rose. Them houses, it's all got faces, said Nutty. Let's have a closer look. So off they went, two by one. I think it's time we went home, said Humphrey. How do you know? <laughs> Who said that? said Nutty. I did, said a house. A house with a voice, said Nellie. How absurd. How do you know when it's time to go? I am a clock, said the house. How absurd, said Nellie. It's true, said the house. This is Cuckoo Land, but they've all gone. And heaven knows when they'll be back. Who? said Nelly. The cuckoos, said the clocks. As soon as it gets cold, they fly away. Probably having the time of their lives, quipped George. Don't be rude, he added. Well, maybe we can help, said Nutty. What do you think, Nelly, my dear? I bet she says she could knit some cuckoos, said Maury. You were right, she added and followed the other animals to help Noah with clock-to-clock -clock cuckoo deliveries. Wunderbar! chirped the town hall clock, Wunderbar. and everyone had the time of their lives. Cuckoo! I'll give you cuckoo! said a big, gruff cuckoo. Oh, uh, <laughs> hello, <laughs> said Nutty. You're, uh... You're back. <laughs> we were, uh, we were just, uh, we were just off. <laughs> How time flies when you're enjoying yourself, <laughs> said Nelly. Uh, nice uh, meeting you. <laughs> Goodbye. Three thousand two hundred and seventy-two. Three thousand two hundred and seventy-three. 3,274. Nutty Noah had opened his eyes at the beginning, and it was 3,275, and nothing had happened. There was still no breakfast. Nelly, me dear, I can't go on like this forever. You take a rest, and I'll take over, said Rose. Oh, but I can't count anyway, so what's the point? You can please yourselves who counts, but be sure of one thing. I'm far too busy knitting. Why don't you make your own breakfasts? I'm inclined to agree with the lady, said Humphrey. I agree, he agreed. No, said Nutty Noah. I'll not make breakfast. Why not? inquired Maureen. Because we won't be able to eat it. I know. A cafe. Some go out to dinner, we'll go out to breakfast. Now, what do you fancy? Bacon and egg? Pancakes and syrup? Four hundred hot cross buns. I'll settle for pancakes, said Humphrey. And syrup, said Humphrey. That's settled then. All aboard the Skylark. All aboard the Skylark. My little plan has worked. <laughs> <laughs> Nellie, my dear, I don't know where we are, but there's one thing I do know, and that is... It's tea time. Come along, everyone. Let's find somewhere for tea. Oh, dear, dear. I'm awfully sorry. <laughs> Said a tiny little silver teaspoon. But there isn't any tea. The tea geezers have broken down, and it really is just awful. They ain't even got me down a canteen, and if we don't get some soon, them cups will crack up in this dry spell. Oh, that dreadful spoon, said the little silver teaspoon. I, uh, I don't suppose you have a couple of spare tea bags? <laughs> One shouldn't ask, I know, but... <laughs> Think nothing of it, boomed Nutty. Nelly, any tea bags in the locker, my dear? Oh, Nutty, there isn't a one. <laughs> but wait, I've an idea, she said, niggling to herself. Dear. Work is never done. Well, said Rose, that's it. I wouldn't marry. There'll be tea for tea. And sure enough, there was. Come on, you gang. 
Oh, Nelly, get them drilling rigs rigged, snapped Nutty Noah, admiring Niggly Nelly's latest knitted masterpiece. The animals worked the rigs in turns, and the teaspoons stirred with excitement as the first rig struck tea. I'm afraid there's only iced tea, said Nelly, rather disappointed with her efforts. It's wonderful tea, said the silver teaspoon. I suppose it's all right, muttered the dreadful spoon from the canteen. Well, as long as you're all happy, we'd better be off. Eh, what, Nutty? <sighs> Nutty? What's the matter? Well, I don't know about you lot, but I... <sighs> but I've got a cup of North Sea oil! <laughs> Nutty Noah and Ahmed were in the realms of the mystic East looking into the future, and Nellie had been niggling for the whole of that morning. Palm reading, prediction, prophecy and premonitions are not the sort of pastimes I would pursue, she niggled. But Nellie, me dear, it ain't a pastime. It's just an innocent little peep into the future. There ain't nothing wrong with it, said Nutty Noah. Now, Ahmed, where are we? I see a hill. Yes, yes, go on. And on the other side, the grass is much greener. Far? Is it far? Far away into the future. I'd say it was just about here, said Nutty Noah, pointing to the map. All aboard the Skylark! All aboard the Skylark! <laughs> start, the grass is blue here, unless I'm very much mistaken, <laughs> said Nelly with a rare grin. I'm afraid you're right, agreed Ahmed. Unless we are dreaming, he added. That's not the point. The fact is, we want to know just how far into the future we are, Nelly was saying when she spotted tons of stone statues. Oh, uh, uh, maybe they'll know. Uh, good morning. Uh, could you tell us how far into the future we are? inquired Nutty Noah. First of all, we'd like to thank you for the information about this morning, said the statue. You see, for us, it's still yesterday. And secondly, you are not in the future, but in the past. This is the Stone Age. Oh. The fact is, we are stuck here, and yesterday is not a good morning. We like to go into the future, but we're more or less based here, <laughs> if you see what I mean. <laughs> On aggregate, sooth to see, hissed Cynthia. 1923! Do me fine right now, said Humphrey to himself. 1923, said the middle-aged stone statue. I like the sound of that. That's it, Nelly, my dear. The sound of 1923. Wind out the wire wool and get weaving. Weaving what? asked Nelly, rather puzzled. The instruments, my dear, the instruments. Knit us a few instruments and we'll give them a glimpse into the future. Make mine a piano, snorted Humphrey. What a lovely idea! And the band began to play. And everyone danced through the night. and into 1923. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! shouted the Stone Age statues as Skylark went off back into the future. I hope we're going the right way this time. Nutty Noah was sitting on the bridge, watching the sun come up. I think I'll have a look at the map, Nelly, my dear. No, oh, not another journey. We've only just got back. I don't know if I'm coming or going, niggled Nelly. <laughs> well, that makes uh, three of us 
thundered Rose the elephants and shook trunks with herself. Well, that settles it. Come on, me hearties, up to the map room. And they all trundled off one by two and Nellie niggled along behind. Maureen said they'd like to go... muttered everyone. Why can't we go here? We don't mind, said Maureen. So that was that. I think we'd better fly if we're all off to here, shouted Nutty. Yes, I think so. All together now. All aboard the Skylark! All aboard the Skylark! When they arrived, there was nothing to see. There's nothing there, here! roared Brian the lions. I knew we shouldn't have come here. There's nothing there. Same as always, the middle of nowhere again, niggled Nellie, knitting another sock for Rose. Don't be so sure of yourselves. I think we've got company. <laughs> Moaning and groaning noises came wafting along, followed by a herd of very sad-looking umbrellas who were very upset indeed. Ahoy there, shouted Nutty. What's up? That's just the problem. None of us... Sniffed the umbrellas. It hasn't rained for ages, and we're all very down. Get out of that one, Nutty, my dear. Niggled Nelly with a rare smile. We will, we will, we will, my dear, said Nutty. And they wandered off to the wheelhouse while everyone waited. When they'd waited for longer than a while, Nutty and Nelly wandered out of the wheelhouse and Nutty beamed at Rose. Rose, my dear, he piped. Elephants never forget, do they? <laughs> no, we don't, boomed Rose and smiled. I can't remember if we do or do not, she added. Well, we'll see, grinned Nutty. Nelly here has knitted a wishing well, so if you could pump water from it, squirt it into the air and make it rain, the umbrellas will be happy. No, oh, I couldn't remember how to do that, moaned Rose. Oh, come on, of course I can, she added, and began to blow water all over Reservoir Desert. Wonderful! shouted the umbrellas. Wonderful! It's raining. Oh, uh, so it is, said Nathan. Now, so you better be off. Come on, Rose, my dears. Your socks will shrink. <laughs> and sure enough, they did. Rose had been sent a picture of her great aunt's Rosalind and was busy in her room drilling a hole for the hook. She'd had to buy an extra large hook because dear aunt's Rosalind was very large indeed. The rest of the animals, with Nutty Noah and Niggly Nelly, were next door when Rose's drill came right through the wall and right through the centre of the map. Arr! Thank you, Rose, my dears, said Nutty Noah. You've solved the problem. But there won't be anything there, said William the Hippos. That's a hole. It's worth a try. He went on. Arr! That's the spirit, beamed Nutty Noah. All aboard the Skylark! All aboard the Skylark! Oh, there ain't nothing there here, sighed Nutty Noah. What do you mean there ain't nothing there here? Nelly niggled as she popped out of a porthole. Oh, you're right. We will soon put a stop to that. How can one put a stop to something that's not even started? muttered Ahmed. By starting something that can be stopped, he went on. Oh, you clever old things, grinned Nutty. No, oh, no, just stop all this nonsense, niggled Nelly as she stuck a flag into the nothing. There, she said, and smiled, and all the animals cheered and mumbled. 
<laughs> that fly gonna never fly. Creaked a crackly voice, and everyone looked round. What did you say? It'll never fly. We've had one for months, and look, it just hangs about doing nothing. Well, we'll soon put a stop to that. Duh, this stopping and starting is too much for me, sighed Ahmed. <laughs> Within five lunar minutes, the flags began to fly as Nellie switched on her latest pride, a knitted wind machine. Now, why didn't we think of that? Said the moon men. Because you ain't Niggly Nelly, said Nutty Noah proudly, and the animals jumped over the moon with joy. Or was it a piece of cheese? <laughs> I think it's time uh, we were off too," said Nutty Noah. "We're uh, we're not all uh, two-headed, you must tell them. <laughs> but two heads are better than one. Will someone please tell me what's going on up there? You wouldn't believe it. You just wouldn't believe it. What on earth is happening? Uh, uh, don't know. Uh, you tell us. Hello, hello. Yesterday, it was sometimes quite windy and sometimes very windy. I wish that wind would keep still. It's rocking the boat. Niggle Nelly, knitting a nose bag for Ronald the gorillas. We thought it was quite nice and awful, said Mildred the geese. You mean awfully nice, explained Nutty. Well, I say it's rocking the boat. We better be off. Harm as a mill pond in the middle of me, beamed Nutty. Oh dear, and hooray, cheered the animals. You're right, Nelly. He's wrong. Let's look at the map. After a matter of muddling moments, Cyril, the man-eaters, said he thought they'd all have a smashing time if they went there. Smashing time! <laughs> I think that's very funny. Let's sail. There's a good wind. All aboard the Skylark! All aboard the Skylark! <laughs> On the shore, there were capital C's all over the place. There must be an alphabet factory nearby, and they've thrown all these broken letters away, said Brian the Lions in a very wise way. Don't be silly, snapped Nutty. Why, said Brian. Well, why don't they throw away any M's or any L's? Quite simple, Nutty Noel. They didn't have enough. You'd better mind your P's and Q's, Brian, me boys, noted Nelly. Sorry, Nutty, said Brian. You're wrong, said a voice. All of you. Who said that? said everyone. Not me, said everyone. We did, said some Toby Jugs standing on the shore. An earthquake rumbled by and broke off our handles. Can you help us? asked the Toby Jugs. We usually have lots of parties, but we can't hold parties without handles. Quite, said Nutty. Can you help me, my dear? It's a tricky one. Oh, Nutty, really? I've no wool, and you expect me There's to... There's plenty of wool, my dear. Unravel the meat all. When Nelly had done some noticeable knitting, the handles were handed out two by two. Toby Jug, call Nutty, and the line move forward. Next. Toby Jug, call Nutty, and the line move forward. Next. Toby Jug, call Nutty, and the line move forward. Next. Toby Jug, call Nutty and the line move forward until everyone was happy. Look, handles with hands, shouted the Toby Jugs. She's no fool, my Nelly, smiled Nutty. 
and the Toby Jugs all clapped. Let's have a party, they said. You will stay. We'd better not, said Nelly. We'll have to, said Nutty. We've no sail. And the party went on through the night. <laughs> we'll fly. Oh, puffed Nelly, blowing up a balloon. Shiver me timbers, nay, belay that, batten up them potholes, raged Nutty Noah. I'm getting blown about like a mad weathercock. But no one took a bit of notice. Meanwhile, Nelly was niggling on below decks about high troughs and low troughs, and Humphrey just sat waiting at the dinner trough. <coughs> oh, why don't we just up anchor and push off for a spell? Niggled Nelly. Everyone agreed on that point and argued about the map. We're all up to a desert island in the middle of Sunshine Lake, my hearties. Forecast, Nutty Noah. Calm down, will you? So they did. All aboard the Skylark! All aboard the Skylark! Steaming jungle! Nutty Noah, as they squelched to a stop. What are we to do? Will this weather ever let up? Growled Nutty. <laughs> Not my I'm out. Grizzled uh, Mr. Oh, weather. Uh, and what, pray, do you mean by that? Demanded Nilly. Just that. Shouted Mrs. Weather from the weather house. Every time he sets foot out of the house, you can bet your sow it will rain before he comes back. It's his gloomy face. He always makes it rain. Oh, I see what you mean. Well, you be gloopy if you were soaked as I am, said Mr. Weather. Why don't you go in out of the rain? Suggested Nutty No. I can't. It's been too wet recently. The doors have walked. They're stuck fast. I can't get in. Try pushing them, shouted Mrs. Weather. It's no use. I've tried. The doors are stuck fast. Well, that's it then, Nelly, my dear. Let's be off, said Nutty Noah. Oh, can't we do something, my dear? I'd love to meet Mrs. Weather. Mm, well, I don't know. Uh, I suppose it's no use knitting anything. No, you're right. Perhaps George could bash the doors down, said Maureen. No, oh, what a wonderful idea, said Nilly. Bash the door down, please, George, my dears. Thank you, George. Mr. Weather went in, wet. Mrs. Weather came out. Beaming, and the whole place brightened up. Oh, thank you, George, my dears, said Mrs. Weather, and Niggly Nelly introduced Nutty Noah and herself, and they all agreed that it was a very nice day. Yeah, why don't you all come down to the beach? I think it's fine enough for a picnic, <laughs> said Mrs. Weather, and Rose carried the picnic hamper. There were good things to eat, and nice things to do, and Niggly Nelly and Mrs. Weather talked and talked and talked, till a rain spot spoiled it all. Oh, I told him to stay in. He'll catch cold. I told him. Who? Said Nutty Noah. Mr. Weather. Oh, I said you should stay in, didn't I? I have told you. I have told you once. I've told you several times. Stay in, I said. You'll catch a cold, I said. That's what I said. Come here. Take that. <laughs> oh, now look what you've done. You busted my umbrella. Back to the Skylark. Uh, come on, Nelly, my dear. Uh, I feel a storm growing up. <laughs> The noise aboard Skylark was quite unbearable as everyone argued about going somewhere and not going somewhere. Nelly was trying to calm them down without success when Nutty Noah stormed down from the map room. Belay that bedlam! What are you all getting steamed up about? Something and nothing as usual, snapped Nelly. I was just going to make a cup of tea when they all started up arguing. Right, said Nutty Noah. Any more of that and you'll have me to deal with. Sorry, Nutty. Now then, how would you all like to go to the circus? 
Oh, wonderful! How boring! Said the animals, disagreeing with themselves. Right! All aboard the Skylark! What about my cup of tea? Can you have time for that later, my dear? All aboard the Skylark! Nutty, my dear, it's not quite a circus, but it's plain to see that you did try. And on that point, the animals did agree for once. Thank you, my dears, for being so understanding, said Nutty Noah. But where can we be? It's very dull. It's a fairground, said a very glum-looking, laughing policeman. We was proceeding along in an extremely jolly fashion when we become aware that we was running out of steam. The ghost train noticed it first and said, and I quote, he didn't say anything else, just side and stop right in his tracks. Oh, how awful! Uh, well, uh, perhaps we could get a bit of steam up, eh, Nelly, my dear? Oh, please, could you? Said all the animals. Let's stay here. We love hate fairs. fairs. We'd rather go to the circus. We hate love the circus. Oh, so you'd rather stay here than go to the circus? Am I right in thinking that's what you want? Oh, oh yes. yes. No. All right, then. Well, that's settled. <laughs> I do like folks who know what they want. Sure enough, ten minutes and ten miles of wool later, the fairground was ready for business. Oh, how did you do that, my dear? Asked Nutty in amazement. Electric motors, my dear. I admitted electric motors. <laughs> Would you like to be the official switcher honor? Oh, her. <laughs> I, I'd like that. Thank you very much, Nelly, my dear. Uh, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen, I declare this fun fair open. Hooray! Hooray! There were swings. There were roundabouts. There was a big dipper, a miniature railway, and, of course, there was a laughing policeman. <laughs> oh, oh, I can't remember laughing so much for years. <laughs> Uh, it's the atmosphere, you see. It's, it's electrifying. Electrifying, get it? <laughs> <laughs> there she blows! Bellowed Nutty. Well, that's enough excitement for one day. Come on, back to the Skylark for a nice cup of tea. One lump or two. Oh, dear. You're on a bit dipper. Would you care for a... There was a threat of work on board Skylark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Niggly Nelly was muttering and... Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, that'd be nice. Mm -hmm. She went on as she inspected the Skylark whilst all the others looked at themselves in wonder. <laughs> what was she up to? <laughs> Nutty Noah was deep into a newspaper and was hoping with all his might that things would stay the way they were. For a while, at least. But no. Screeched Nelly. I've been taking a look round Skylark and have decided it's time we redecorated. Ah, oh, uh, I thought that's what you might say, my precious, uh, and I was thinking. Uh... At that, the animals pricked up their ears. If Nutty Noah's plan didn't go down well with Nelly, you could bet your hoofs there'd be work to be done. I was thinking, Nelly, my sweetness, uh, if we redecorate, it would mean staying at home. Now, in this newspaper, it says that the Grand Flower Show is today. And you know how you like the Grand Flower Show. Uh, be ashamed to miss it, my petal. Oh, yes. Uh, up to the map room. Oh, that was a close one. <laughs> All aboard the Skylark! All aboard the Skylark! <laughs> I don't know sometimes whether to believe that map is always wrong or whether you plan things this way to get out of doing little jobs. Flower show indeed. We've never been to such a doomy place. Just look at it. Uh, please don't be too upset. <laughs> Whimpered a forget-me-not. It's just that nobody takes care of our garden. 
and those nasty weeds keep crowding in. Sometimes we flowers can't get a bed for the night. <laughs> oh, it's too awful. Well, we'll soon fix that, <laughs> said Nellie, reaching for her knitting needles. Sorry, folks, sighed Nutty Noah, looking over at the animals who knew exactly what was coming next. Not as sorry as us, moaned Brian. Oh, shut up, it's better than decorating, he went on. A spot of gardening will do us all the world of good. Come on. Thank you, Brian, <laughs> said Nellie, as she handed out freshly knitted gardening tools to each of the animals and a rather splendid motor mower for Nutty. You might have... Uh... You might have made one with a seat on it, sulked Nutty. Nutty knows the walk will do you good. Now off we go. <laughs> when the work was done, the garden was a blaze of colour, all the flowers were in full bloom, and it was decided to hold their own flower show there and then. As head gardener, the first prize goes to Nutty Noah, announced Nigby Nelly, and everyone cheered and groaned. Oh, uh, uh, I, I, I don't know what to say. Uh, oh, thank you, said Nutty Noah. What, what is it, my honeysuckle? Open it, my dear. Oh, uh, could it be boiled sweets, nutty toffee, jelly babies? Ow! A decorating set. This ain't... My day, shipmates. <laughs> no, today wasn't one of the quietest Nutty Noah and Nigli Nelly could remember. And maybe this was the loudest day they could remember. And yes, Nutty Noah did have a headache. Oh, belay that thundering about, shipmates, sighed Nutty Noah. And Nellie niggled at everyone and said she'd go anywhere for a bit of peace and quiet. Nellie was deafened by all the animals who'd had the same idea as herself and were arguing about where to go in very loud whispers. Oh, no, come on quickly. I can hear poor old Nutty's headache from here. I think there should do fine. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh yeah. All aboard the Skylark. All aboard the Skylark. On arrival at Little Haven, the situation worsened, and Nutty Noah couldn't believe his ears. Oh, what's all this shouting about? Demanded Nelly. We are door knockers, of course, said a door knocker. They can see that, snapped Niggly Nelly. We can hear it too, moaned Nutty Noah. No, why can't you knock quietly and stop all this moaning and wailing? We've all got headaches. That's why we are moaning. I'm not surprised. Neither am I. Now, come along, you animals. I need your help. And you door knockers, do try to keep quiet for a moment. No, my dear. Just sit quietly. Arr. Poor thing. Clickety-clacking went on for a while, and all the animals were very good and waited and didn't even argue. Nutty Noah held onto his head. No! Oh, sorry, my dear. Uh, sorry. I want each two of you to take these bundles round and deliver one to each door. Mm. What are they? Asked Rose the elephants. They're crash helmets, said Nilly proudly. Ask a silly question. You get a silly answer. It's not silly at all. They're soft crash helmets, and you'll soon see why. Now, off you go. There, there. Arr. All the animals trundled off one by two and delivered every parcel. Now to test these noisy door knockers, niggled Nelly. They worked, and yes, there wasn't a sound. Do you know, Nelly, my dear? I'm feeling fine now. Let's have a tea party. Invite the guests. There ain't not nobody answering, said Humphrey the pigs. Not nobody, he went on. Oh, that means there's no one at home. 
Better be off. Uh, how are you, my dear? Yes, it is. Uh, what do you mean, yes, it is? I'd like that very much. Here, what's the matter? No, it's not far. We don't think that is in either. Of course he's in. Oh, if he took that crash helmet off, he'd be able to hear us. <laughs> yes, what's the joke? Nutty Noah's alarm clock knocked itself senseless, trying its best to wake Nutty from a very deep sleep. It was no good. Niggly Nelly, his wife, niggled and naggled and knitted an eider down until Nutty opened an eye. Oh, so there you are. Nelly niggled on. It's time to look at the map, don't you know? Oh, are we are. So it is, Nelly, my dear, croaked Nutty. Come on, we're late. You see, Nutty, whenever you sleep late, it means the animals argue amongst themselves. Noted Nelly. No, it don't, snapped Nutty. Oh, yes, it do, twerped Nelly with a niggle. Excuse me for interrupting, said Humphrey the pigs. But could we go there? Of course we can, beamed Nutty. Come on, all aboard the Skylark, all aboard the Skylark. Arr! <laughs> When the Skylark arrived, Nutty Noah and Niggly Nelly and the animals saw something strange. <laughs> well, I never, Nelly, me dear. Look at that. Hobby horses with the ump. Gasped Nutty. I take it you mean hobby horses with a problem. Smirked Nelly. No, my dear. I mean hobby horses with the ump. Look at them. Hundreds of them. Did someone say hump? <laughs> Smiled Ahmed. No, he said ump, tat-tatted Nelly. And Ahmed went on grumbling and laughing. <laughs> I say, said Nutty to the first horse. Why are you all standing around his field? We're hobby horses, whimpered the horses. I know that, said Nutty. That's why you should have an hobby. Oh, but we have, said the horses. Our hobby is racing, but we've lost our wheels. Ha ha! Lost your wheels, eh? Boomed Nutty, and all the animals laughed and cried. <laughs> yes, sniffed the horses. The more we raced, the smaller they got. What you need is new wheels, wheels, decided the animals. You're right, bellowed Nutty. Nelly! It is a wheel maker. All afternoon, the animals worked the wheel maker, and Rose turned the wheels into a feast. Hey, that's a donut machine, Nelly, me dear! Gasped Nutty. Leave off there, Rose. I thought that knitting pattern was a funny recipe. Quipped Nelly. Nutty invited the horses to a race, so off they went with a bang. Wonderful, these new wheels, said the head horse with a winning smile. Well, you'd better take the recipe, smiled Nelly, looking over at Rose, munching the last spare wheel. Nutty Noah was shouting from the map room. I've a splendid idea for today, right here, the seaside. He went on, and all the animals jumped about with excitement and moaned. Well, I've beaten you to it today, my dear, because we're going shopping to the high street. The lard is almost empty, said Nelly, and the animals jumped about with excitement and moaned. That left Nutty with a problem. Mm. I know. What about going shopping at the high street at the seaside? And the animals jumped about with excitement and excitement. Oh, nutty nor, you cunning old fox. <laughs> well, that's that. I'm in a holiday mood. 
Eeny, meeny, miny, moe, to the seaside we shall go. There! I think. All aboard the Skylark! All aboard the Skylark! <laughs> You may well have to if we can't find the shops, little Nelly. Let's ask that man. But I say, yoo-hoo! Could you please tell us the way to the shops? Asked Nutty and Nelly, but the man couldn't answer for laughing. Oh, what a funny man, said Rose. She went on, and the man laughed till he couldn't stand up. I uh, think you'd better have a strong niggle with him, said Nutty. You're right, my dear. Young man! Young man, go! Will you please tell me where we are? Jokesville! <laughs> this is Jokesville! <laughs> Everything's a joke here! Oh! <laughs> Even me! <laughs> Things got worse when a crowd gathered and laughed even more. That set the animals off one by two, laughing and laughing. Oh! Said Nelly as niggly as she could. Where are the shops? And someone just managed to point. Thank you, said Nelly. I'll be back shortly. Uh, which way's the beach? She snapped. Thank you. I'll meet you on the beach, Nutty Nor. Dear, huffed Nelly and niggled off. Now, Nutty, I've bought some knitting needles, so I'll just knit a picnic blanket to sit on. <laughs> oh, what's this? Rubber needles! Oh. Screamed Nelly, and the clowns tumbled about. Now, uh, just calm down, my dear, said Nutty Noah. Have a roll. <laughs> Nutty Noah, you always did see the funny side of things. Have a closer look through this telescope I bought you. Oh, thank you, my dear. Uh, no, uh, oh, I see nothing funny. Oh, I do. Have you seen your face? Uh. <laughs> Better have a wash, Nutty, my dear. Here, this soap will do the trick. <laughs> what a funny day. The atmosphere was thick with boredom and the clickety-clack of Nellie's knitting needles rattling away in the corner. Nutty Noah was in a strange mood as he pounded the poop deck, surveying his craft and watching his happily bored beings enjoying themselves in a wonderful state of misery as they played darts with such great skill and farce as have not been seen in a while. Belay those arrows! shouted Nutty Noah. Come sail under my flag! Where to? asked the animals. To the back of beyond, without a doubt, niggled Nelly. Place one of your fleet arrows in the map, rasped Nutty Noah. And that'll be our course. Brian landed a dart in the middle of the map. Right. All aboard the Skylark. All aboard the Skylark. <laughs> It's extremely dim around here, sighed Nutty disappointedly. You're right, said the animals. It certainly is dim. It's gone. Well, at least we're all in agreement about something for once, niggled Nilly. We, we humbly beg, beg to, to disagree. disagree. That these should darken the doorstep of this theatre is indeed an honour. What is sad is that our stage is darkened. Oh. Who could have uttered that? Said Nutty Noah. We said the words, and better far than most. You, sir, are welcome here, but alas, there is no light. Soon fix that, said Brian with a spotlight. Nay, dear boy, there is a greater light. The light of the mind, 
sighed Nelly. Oh, 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 uh, 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 yes. Agreed Nutty Noah. I am a world-famous ventriloquist, but alas, I've been sold a dummy without the words. Quick, Rose, fetch Shakespeare's complete works from the shelf. This is Shakespeare. Oh, uh, uh, yes, said Nutty Noah. How wonderful, explained the actor. Something new. Settle down and take heed snap Nelly, and the play opened. After careful measurements have been taken, choose the finest wool and cast on 128 stitches. Or until you have lost count. Oh, my knitting pattern. Gasped Nelly, and the animals <laughs> laughed till they cried. <laughs> Pick up, knit, pearl, and so go on. Cast off, and at the end of each row, start again. Pick up. Knit, oh, pearl, you must off. tell him. We know, said the actor. Look, I read out the pattern, and my wife made up the garment. Alas, poor Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Tempers were fraying, and it was a lovely atmosphere as the animals sat about discussing the party pieces Nutty and Nelly had chosen for them in the pantomime game. I don't care what anyone says. I think it's a rotten idea. I don't know. I thought we looked quite good. It's all right for you. You don't have to fall off a brick wall and break into bits. All I can say is I think it's unfair to ask tigers like me to go around following elephants who think she's the Lord Mayor of London. All right, keep your purse. Get it? Uh, <laughs> oh, never mind. So you don't like Nelly's pantomime game idea? We wanted to go to the pictures today, said Brian the Lions. But we are fed up because we can't decide which film we'd like to see. Well, there's only one way to solve that, said Nelly, rather niggled that her pantomime idea had been shot down. Uh -huh. And what's that? I'll decide. We'll go and see a family film, then everyone will be happy. Come on, let's get going. Uh, Nutty? Oh, uh, yes, uh, all about this guy, Doc. All about this guy, Doc! Typical, typical, said Brian. We thought we was going to see a film and here we are in television land and what's on? The news. Well, with a bit of luck there'll be a film after the news and everyone will be happy, said Nelly. Correct, Correct said the televisions. We're, We're so fed, fed up, there isn't a film on after the news. news. There never is. Well, uh, what do you have after the news? <laughs> Asked Nelly with a slight niggle. More, More news. All old, old, said the televisions. Old news? Growled Nutty Noah. What's the point of that? None, None at, at all, all, said the televisions. But, but it's, it's better, better than, than nothing. nothing. What you need is a good film show, said Nutty Noah. You're right, said Nelly. Nutty, get the holiday films out and we'll have a film show. No projector, said Nutty. Soon fix that. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. Oh, oh how, how splendid. splendid, said the televisions. But could, could you, you wait, wait till after, after the news? news? Well, we'll have to be quick, said Nutty. Oh, oh we, we will. will, said the televisions, and Nutty went off with the films. Here's, Here's the, the news. news. Today was in Parliament and ice creams were in corners. There were hats on heads and a lot of talk came from mouths. And that, that is the end of the news. Here, Here is the news. Today was in... Oi, just a minute. Remember, we were film show. Smiled Nutty and switched on the holiday films. Oh, remember the spaceman, said Nelly. Oh, oh yes. Uh, and that was Cuckoo Land. Oh, yes. <laughs> and there's William in the mud bath. Remember, William? Do we remember? <laughs> Will I ever forget it? <laughs> oh, Rose's soup. <laughs> Say nothing of the jack in the boxes. Oh, 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 quickly, Nutty, change the reel, said Nelly. Oh, oh but, but we, we can't, can't watch any more, said the televisions. It's, it's time, time for the news. news. Belay that. There is no news. Today's the 47th of September. 
Oh, that's fine then, said the televisions, and Nutty turned on the projector. 47th of September? Ah, oh, well, well, no, no news, news is good news. news. Here, Here is, is the news. news. On the 47th of September, there was no news. news.